I'm making this video to address the creators of YouTube videos with the titles Real Metal vs. Fake Slash False Slash Pussy Metal. And um, I just want to give my thoughts and opinions if I if I could about these uh, about these so-called like about these videos. Um, when I was first watching them, the main thing I realized is all the bands which are were big after the 1990s were classed as fake metal. These uh, bands such as Lamb of God and Bullet from a Valentine and Disturbed and System of a Down were all were all bands which stuck in my mind. Um, which I saw were fake metal, and of course, all the real metal were stuff like Slayer, Pantera, uh, Metallica, you know, Black Sabbath, and all that, all that stuff. Actually, no, Black Sabbath. Um, someone actually put on their uh, Black Sabbath was fake metal, which um, completely blows my mind. And um, he, that person's obviously ill-informed that if it wasn't for Black Sabbath, we wouldn't have metal anyway. Um, this, right, these videos make us look bad because it's. It throws up all the uh, all the um, problems where everyone will start arguing, and metal gets a bad name as it is. It's really really hard to get metal on radio stations, and it's mostly because of guys like these. I mean, half the time people don't want them to be played on radio because it's known as sold out. However, if they're making a good living out of radio, then all power to them. Um, just it makes us look bad due to the fact that. We're all arguing, and the metal community needs to more or less stick together because, especially those who think metal is dying, which um, it's it's not the case, and I would explain why. But I've got too much on my mind as it is trying to uh, figure out what I'm saying to everyone. Um, if you're if you're on the outside and you've never heard of metal before, but you you're interested, and then you start like you looking on YouTube. Let's since everything's done on the internet anyway, you look on. YouTube, if you can actually find metal with all the copyright stuff that goes on. But, like, let's say you just look on it, and then you look at the comments, see what everyone thinks, and then there's arguments about what real metal is. I mean, metal is metal. Just simple as. I mean, it's it's put into tons and tons of subcategories, and it you just need to accept that everything is done with passion. Everything is done with harp they put a lot of work into it and let's let's just leave it i mean you don't have to listen if you don't like a, a band or a song for example i don't like funeral for a friend i don't like my chemical romance um i don't like bands like that i'm not really a big fan of dragon force either however i'm not going to be uh, preaching on to you by saying no they're they're not real metal even though metal is mostly um passion put into a rhythm, put into uh, songs, if you don't like something, it's just something you want to get off your chest through through music form, that's that's what metal is, and it's great that uh, metal is evolving all the time, let's say we stayed back and just made everything all sound the same, we're ne we'll never get anywhere, it's, it's great some of the bands that choose to do opera and put opera sort of feels into songs like Nightwish, and and even singing, I mean, a lot of it is because um, bands sing. A lot of it is because um, bands decide to do clean vocals instead of um, instead of just instead of just screaming. I've got no problem with either one. And as I say, if you don't like it, just don't listen to it. I mean, it you, it shouldn't. I shouldn't have to say that. It should really already be obvious that if you don't like something, just don't listen to it. And going to change the subject here. I just another thing I found on YouTube was. Um, that Justin Bieber guy, um, that's that's another thing that pisses me off with some people, especially YouTube people, be going on about how much you hate him. I mean, it may sound hypocritical coming from me, but if you, it's it's your fault that he's getting bigger. I mean, if if we didn't slag off all these pop artists, if we didn't slag off all these all these young singers, they they won't get big. It's just the fact that everyone throws their piss and throws jars and stuff like that at all the all the singers, and it it's it's bad publicity. Any publicity is good publicity, more or less. If you hate a guy, at least his name's getting out there, and it's it's just it's just it's just really really frustrating when um you see. You see a guy, and he's he's sure that he's doing good by slagging him off, but it's just he's just making it worse. I mean, everyone who hates on Justin Bieber, you're making it worse. Just forget about him, and he'll slowly fade away. I mean, 
I mean, you don't have to listen to him. Seriously, I've not, I've not even listened to a Justin Bieber song, but hearing everyone go on about it, he's obviously pretty bad then, and I'm not really a big fan of pop. I don't have time for it. Um, it's a bit like with people who like pop music. Metal's not really for them, because if you're looking for something catchy and takes about three minutes, then metal really isn't for you either. I mean, I've got no problem with what people want to listen to, and um, which makes me probably one of the most open-minded metalheads. I know there's a lot of metalheads like that, but it's just it's just it's just really really stupid and pathetic when people have to go on um go on um YouTube and start whining and complaining about all these real metal and what pop music is, what real metal is, what pop bands should die, what metal bands should die, you know stuff, stupid stuff like that. And uh, I think um, also that all the people that are making all these uh, real metal versus fake, false, and pussy metal. They're so well informed that I bet since these were, uh, I mean, these get made every now and then, but the the ones which were made two years ago, guaranteed these people won't be listening to metal, which uh, just shows that they're not really passionate to it. It just, as that's just the uh, the way I get out of it. And with metal just constantly evolving, I mean, there's there's it's really hard to um. If you if you like the screaming stuff, listen to the screaming stuff. If you like the melodic stuff that Dragon Force and Dream Theater and bands like that come out with, listen to that. Metal is great because you're it gives you a chance. It's it's great to express yourself without feeling like you're being judged. But these metalheads that have to judge every band and every band has to sound the same, it 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 really does get quite tiring. I mean, bands which you wouldn't expect to be um, metal. I mean, Primus are metal because they use a lot of, um, they use a lot of influence, and um, metal was actually made with um, all the remainder of the blues, and more or less, yeah, that, that's more or less that sort of topic out of the way, and I, I think it went well, possibly. Um, also, uh, just just before uh, I bail, um, I just I just want to talk about um, address all the people that think that metal gives you uh, gives us listeners mental problems. Now, I've I've been through a few problems. Who hasn't? Um, I don't like people. I don't really have a trust for people. But it's more or less pe- what people have done to me. It's got nothing to do with uh, with with me listening to metal. I mean, if you think that metal makes people go nuts and burn churches, well, I'm afraid you're very small-minded. And and if you you there's no point in you actually even contributing to any sort of conversation on the subject of metal because um, people people with that sort of um, ignorance don't really deserve to to express their opinion because half the time it it makes no sense. They don't put any logic into it. Um, it's just right. There's a lot of like there was a lot of like metal problems going on, you know, with deaths and people killing each other. It's it's just that they're messed up. I mean, it it's got nothing to do with them listening to metal. They probably weren't brought up right by their parents. They probably uh, got beaten and stuff like that. And that's what that's was that's just what happens. It's it's a shame how um how things like that can uh, slowly uh, build up and then you can go proper insane. I mean, there's a lot of uh, rappers that go nuts. They 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 um they shoot up they shoot each other and stuff like that it's uh so it's, it's it just shows it could happen to anyone suicides happen with um people in the pop uh, industry and britney spears went completely nuts by shaving off all her hair that those few times as well i mean it's not just metal that um that that makes people uh, go insane. It's it's mo- mostly because of them that or something that someone has done to them. It's it's a mental issue more than anything. But whenever it happens to a a male head, normally the whole metal scene gets affected, and that's more or less why uh, we we are not able to uh, express um, ourselves over media and things like that. But hell, some people don't really care about that, and um, I think I think that's that's more or less it. Yeah, nine and a half minutes of rambling sort of i hope this made sense um if you've got any questions for me i'll be happy to answer them um i'm a huge male head um i i'll i'll answer anything i'm i'm I'm, i'll just give you my two cents on things half the time i probably won't get what you're going on about i'll do a bit of research and then draw a conclusion on on that because this was a lot of fun um i got i burnt off a lot of uh i burnt off a lot of uh gas that i wanted to 
just throw at you and yeah all right we'll see you